The world is changing at breakneck speed now. It seems that the only real constant is change. With software evolving and there's being more demands being placed on it every single day to get the job done faster with greater accuracy and more collaboration. It's hard to know where to start looking. Welcome to Bridging the Gap with Applied Software. I'm your host, Todd Wyant, and this is the show where we break down all of that and much more with experts from the AEC and the manufacturing industry. Please feel free to interact with us throughout this video by liking or commenting on the video. We'd love to hear from you guys. Today we are joined by the renowned uh, manufacturing process thought leader and Autodesk Plant 3D expert, David Wolf. The only part I'm comfortable well, <laughs> with about that is the expert on Plant 3D, but we'll get the rest of it. There you of go. Right? <laughs> hey, it's out there on the internet now, yeah, so it's true, it right? Must be true. <laughs> Uh, well, welcome to the show. Thank you. David is our Director of Manufacturing Services at Applied Software. Uh, can you start by just giving us kind of a high-level overview of your background in the industry? Yeah, uh, so I spent three years doing piping design um, at a couple of local companies in Greenville, South Carolina, and then the last 10 years have been doing services and implementation around Plant 3D and piping design products. Nice. Uh, just to kind of get a level set at the beginning, can you Start us out with a baseline of where you see the industry, the current state of CAD and pipe manufacturing now. So there's a pipe fa fabrication and piping design always lags um, commercial products like Revit and everything. So mm -hmm. um, right now there's still a lot of file based workflows and exchanging file formats, which is very tedious. Um, and then there's still a whole lot of opportunity there, but right now it's uh, People kind of just doing work the same way they've done it for a while now. So, gotcha. What trends do you see going on in the industry that uh, are going to affect or, or change the industry in the next five, ten years? So obviously, cloud's a big word, um, but we're looking more at applying uh, new technologies like the web and other types of just on-demand applications, mm -hmm. um, and seeing if we can fit that in design workflow and also pipe fabrication workflow and kind of automate some of those processes. Gotcha. Uh, so the industry as a whole, there's this big increase in demand uh, to be more productive as possible, uh, specifically within the design and engineering side of things. How can Plant 3D really kind of relieve some of that stress that's going on? So a lot of that um, is actually Plant 3D handles by being better with data than other applications. So there's a project-based format, so you always know mm -hmm. which drawings are in your project. Um, okay. You never have to worry about backup files or things getting in and messing up your project information. So your reports and your build materials are more accurate than ever before. Um, and there's also a really powerful report creator which lets you put out any information in any format you want in a nice looking format or just to dump it to another program. Um, so it does a lot of good integrations with workflows and products. Gotcha, very nice. Uh, so collaboration is one of these hot button keywords that's going on in the industry right now. How does Plant 3D address that ability uh, and allow you to collaborate with various teams or uh, even possible locations? Yeah, so there's two offerings. Um, the one is behind the firewall, which is Vault, um, and Applied Software is a leader in getting that integrated. Um, and we're also doing some really cool testing stuff to evaluate getting that replicated and making sure that all works for people before mm -hmm. we actually recommend getting all the replication stuff worked out. So we are, we're working on some kinks in that. Um, which is very exciting. And then also there, the second offering is the BIM collaboration. So that is like out of the box, almost hands off IT work mm -hmm. um, to set up collaboration around the world. Um, so we're documenting that process and, and implementing that with clients. Very cool. Uh, so practically speaking, how does all this really lead to a better workflow and environment for the user? So the goal is that the information the user needs at that point in time when they need it is, is already there. Um, right now, a lot of companies work by sending drawings back and forth, FTP, email, um, and so no one's really sure what the current version is. So practically speaking, it means when I open up a file on my machine, I know it's the latest and greatest, and I don't have to worry about going through and checking with all my coworkers around the world or different locations to make sure that's the right one. Nice. And I imagine that's really huge. It's, it's a time saver too. It's a big deal. There's a lot of time zones, language yeah. barriers. So it really streamlines a lot of issues if you can make sure that happens. Nice. Yeah, if not, that could get really complicated really fast. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, so how can Plant 3D help to really improve information accuracy uh, and the consistency across the board? So we touched on this with the report creator. Um, one of the things that Plant does with the report creator is it lets you standardize your column settings. So for each client, you could come in and say, I want to have these headers 
in these columns and then every time you create a report that's what it looks like every time so the client gotcha. is getting the same thing every time if you want to make a change you change it one spot and then anytime you generate that it's it matches the format that you need nice um, so that does a lot a lot of it's about the model information so there's tools now where you can view that in the cloud or Navisworks is very popular still um, so being able to see the same properties in your Navisworks model that are showing up in your reports helps again eliminate communication issues mm -hmm. by just having a single consistent source Gotcha. Cool. Uh, I know that Applied Software has a tool called the Steel Supports Bundle. Uh, how does that really help to enhance Point 3D? So right now, Steel Supports is geared towards making it easier for pipers to get some of the extra steel that they have to put in in the model without going through a lot of extra modeling effort. Okay. Um, so it shortens the time to get the project kicked off because they don't have to go through and model a bunch of things. Um, that also makes it more consistent because then it comes out in the same format every time. Um, nice. But in the future, we're looking at adding more supports and also extending our, our uh, plugin offerings so that we can do things like show report lengths and things like that from that they need to see from their bill materials. Okay, very cool. Any timeline that you want to <laughs> no, give on those? No <laughs> timelines, no promises. Just it's it's uh, coming. I have my it's personal exciting. wish list, right? And, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. And, awesome. Uh, Very cool. So stay tuned on that. So my last question is around virtual reality. Uh, you know, it's not just some future science fiction thing. It's really here now. So how can you leverage VR in Plant 3D? So one of the nice things that I found recently within the last few months um, is a company called Iris VR, and they've re released a plugin that is literally a one-click push out of Navisworks. Oh, wow. Um, to VR. And so now as a designer, you can do your design and then you can with one put one button send it to your client and they can do a VR walkthrough and see their maintenance wow. issues and kind of walk through a maintenance procedure of maybe repairing a valve or locating a pump that has an issue and walking to the plant through there making sure they have their tools and everything um, you have the construction workflows where people are going through as they're building it they might have questions about where lines should be or if um, making sure that the field design is already matching the model mm -hmm. um, so it's just easier when you're in it in VR. It's it's one of those inexplainable things because it, it's very. Once you're in there, you kind of experience why it's so great, right? Right. Um, but being able to see what you've done and compare that to you know take the headset off and look and well, does it match or not and what's changing? Right. Um, it's almost priceless, but it's not quite there. It's very <laughs> valuable. There you go. Very cool. I bet that's going to really be a cool new wave of the, the future and to see how that really shapes Definitely. the industry. I'm cool. seeing a lot of safety uh, professionals also interested in it and being able to walk their safety people to just make sure they have the right habits. Like mm -hmm. if I'm stepping out of a door onto a platform, did I clip on, right. you know, or yeah. not? Sure. Because those type of habits have to be ingrained. So if they can practice that 20 times on the ground, then it saves them practicing it right. know, in the air. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us and sure. for all the information. This was really good information. Uh, and thank you guys for, for watching at home. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about Plan 3D or our Steel Supports Bundle or any of our other services, uh, please visit asti.com. Until next time, I'm Todd Wyant. Thank you for joining us on Bridging the Gap with Applied Software. Thanks, everybody.